Hi everyone out there. This has been a trying year for all of us. It's been a tough year for everyone. I encourage you to stay prayed up, have the faith, put God first. We all have to struggle with problems these days. It's a tough world we live in. Don't let no one deter you from doing what's right. In God's sight, God looks on the just as well as the unjust. Remember that. It's been tough for me as well. But the thing is, we can't give up on ourselves. If I give up on me, then I'm done. I just want to thank YouTube today for this live broadcast, for this media, social media here that's here. And let you know that we are in heal mode here in America. We must support our fellow men. And I believe God allows certain things to happen to get the attention of men. For us to come outside of ourselves and to help each other. You know who that person to help and you know who wants to work and who don't want to work. Maybe I'm talking to somebody um, here, but um, you can only help those who want to help themselves too as well. There's a lot of negativity that's going around, evilness like never before in America and around the world. Violence is increasing every day. Why is this happening? Because it's predict predicted in the good book the Bible, the Holy Bible, that there will come a time where it's going to be lawlessness. Kids don't have respect for their parents. No respect, respect for authority. Law enforcement. Lovers of themselves. And haters. Killers, murderers. No one is perfect, but being on a narrow path, the short path, you have to stop doing certain things that you used to do and come from among them. Right now, there is a great separation that's going on. The separation is from good and evil. You know them by their spirit. You know them by their actions and what they do. Some of these people can be living next door to you. They might play their music loud. But I want you to not get your gun and snap and shoot them because the police don't come. I want you to document everything that they do and keep a track record of everything they do. And if the police don't want to take a report, then that police officer or man or woman will be reprimanded eventually. I'm a firm believer in law enforcement, but I'm a firm believer in doing your job as well. When people don't do their jobs in law enforcement, it's like a ripple effect. It breaks up the law enforcement family and it disturbs, distorts the flow of good law enforcement. Obeying the law, living the laws of the land, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery. Some African Americans, some of us take things out of proportion and keep it going and keep it going like a forest fire burning. We have to come out of that as African Americans. Some of us do, some of us don't. We want to be loved, we want to be respected. 
But how can you respect yourself and you doing wrong? Your kids are using profanity, going to church and still using profanity. The father is not there. The woman got hurt. So now she's taking that on, on someone else. This is not right. If you hurt from a previous relationship, psychologically, you're damaged. If you're having mood swings and this anger issue towards the next guy who might like you, it's not just a physical presence, maybe this the nice qualities, but you got the wall up and you don't want to take that chance. And since you don't want to take that chance, it's because you've been hurt. You're damaged goods. So when you're damaged goods, you have that defense mechanism where you go into defense mode. Instead of going to see a psychologist or someone at a church against therapy. That doesn't mean that you're crazy because you want that you need the help. But the only way to recovery is to get the help that you need. And that goes for man and woman. And when we don't get the help that we need, then the problem suppresses and manifests even more by your actions, one, by your verbal actions, two, and by the people you're around, three. This hinders relationships, friendships and relationships. If you notice, people will be withdrawn from you because you're talking about negativity or what did he did? He did this to me. She did that to me. Oh, I don't want to see her again or I don't want to see him again. Your friends care. They not, they might not be in the same element you are, but they will love you and but they will encourage you. But how much, how many times someone gonna keep telling you? And that's like the Lord Jesus Christ and none of it. He's gonna come to us so many times and tell us what but he's not gonna keep repeating himself. God is not easily mocked and he doesn't repeat himself. When he says something, you best to believe. He's not gonna repeat himself because he's, he's God all by himself. But we must have the faith and the courage to admit our faults, to admit wrongs, to say I'm sorry and to move on from that. And if you can't say you're sorry, then what else is there for you to do but to live in your own mess? I just try to help somebody, a friend, but this friend wants to stay in her own mess. And that goes for me and anybody else. If God blesses a person to bless someone else, let that person bless you. But sometimes it goes for me goes for you and anyone else. This is karma, if you want to call it that. You can't make the horse drink the water, even if it's good for him. That horse is going to drink that water when it's ready. So, my friend, she'll look for a place when she's ready. I'm trying to get her out of a bad situation. She don't want to move. She's stagnant. She's comfortable where she's at. So when you're stagnant and you're comfortable where you at, and you know and you're complaining, oh, this person, this, that person, this, they doing this, they doing that. But what are you doing? What are you doing about it? Yourself. Stop worrying about them over there. Worry about you right here. Complaining, complaining, complaining gets you nowhere. It just blowing your breath in the air, in the wind. And it draws people away from you. I mean, people care, but 
What are you going to do about it? For yourself. I don't care how old you are. God gave you a head, a brain to think with. Arms, hands, legs, feet. To move. And sometimes we don't want to move. So if you don't want to move, then what else is there? And then I understood and I saw that she was depressed. But that's not an excuse. I've been there too. Who hasn't been there? But I'm getting offset. I am the CEO of Star Project Music, LLC, locally here in Jacksonville, Florida. We call it the Jacks here. I got my musical training at United Sound Studios in Detroit, Michigan, 1997 to 1998. Mixing engineer trained me for a month on how to record an album, how to mix an album. It was fun. He's a genius. I wonder why he's not still in the industry now, but he has a family. Good brother. Um, I just encourage you young people out there to lay down your guns and do something productive. I'm not trying to preach to you, not trying to. It's enough of that hatred, self-hatred within the African-American race. And blaming the white man for problems of this, problems of that, you can't. If there's plenty of jobs, you just have to get out there and do it. It might not be the job you want. But you got to work your way up to where you want to get to. And uh, I'm a firm believer in working. But I'm not a firm believer in being around negative people that are doing bad things. Music set the soul free. Music can take you anywhere. When it's done right, recorded right, and synced right. It's fun going in the studio. It's fun working with musicians. I had an opportunity to work with a older gentleman in Arlington, Virginia. He was musically inclined. He played he plays the trumpet. His name is Jeffrey. He was homeless. I was homeless. But when I noticed he was really affluent in playing different theories of music, other people's music, and I wanted to work with him. It was my chance to show what I could do, to prove to myself that I can do it. And it was beautiful to work with somebody on their terms and their level and encourage the person to, we we rehearsed and we was outside the library in Orange, Virginia. We rehearsed, we rehearsed and rehearsed. And I knew we was onto something good because people were looking, people were smiling, even kids and family were walking by. And this was in 2018, 2017, almost 2018 coming in. I ended up getting a studio apartment and uh, he was still out there. But um, Star Project Music LLC is a small local label here I have. Looking for talent. I'm accepting CD demos and I charge $50 to listen to your music. And I want you to have your music copyrighted because for me, it covers yourself. And for me, I wouldn't steal it, but you want to make sure you send your stuff off to people, to companies that they don't steal your stuff. So they teach you now copyright. You don't know what it is. Look up uscopyright.gov on the internet and read and learn for you new up and coming artists. And it helps with paying your royalties as well. So currently, I don't know of the artist, Jeffrey Porter. Well, I know he, last time I spoke with him, he is in Oklahoma. So, the state of Oklahoma. I encourage. Anyone who has talent, 
is in four songs, along with a $50 money order, cashier's check, or Western Union paid out to Star Project Music LLC, 1601 North Main Street, P.O. Box 3599, Jacksonville, Florida. Zip code is 32206. And this is for my time listening to it. I have connections on the West Coast and in the East Coast um, with bigger people. But I like Jacksonville. There's a lot of talent here. Um, but I just ask, because this is a Christian base, small company. And the goal is to work with a few artists, come together and invest in the projects. You will be the co-producer. You will get a producer's credit. You get a producer's royalty. I just ask that we all have our ego. That we, because you can play better than the man down the street and you working with me, and you sign with me, that, um, you don't get most of the money we share here. And that's what it's about, is love here at Star Project LLC. And having fun getting the product out and people giving feedback and paying locally. Um, I talked with some artists, a band that was here, they was like, I feel that friction from the leader. He's doing everything himself. Um, not gonna say no names, but we had to come out of that. And I was gonna help him, but he just, I guess he felt whatever is he felt, or it's not about feeling it, it's just, maybe he's just having a stressful day. I don't know, but I felt the conceitedness, the selfishness, or who you think you are. Can't read his mind, but I felt the spirit wasn't right. So I don't work with everybody. I don't work with uh, gangster rap. I don't work with demonic lyrics. I don't work with anyone who's perpetuating lyrics to hurt someone, or harm, or maim, or do violence to, to a person. That's not the type of music I'm producing, or it's going to be on Star Project Music Now. Trading Now is American Standard World National Anthem. Um, this is from Jeffrey Porter, the homeless guy that I met in Arlington, Virginia. Um, just to work with him, it was incredible. I could tell. I could tell we were on to something. We were at the library and just seeing him playing the notes that I wrote. And he's a genius. Sometimes geniuses are crazy, they say. But um, this guy was in a zone. And when you get in that zone, it's just beautiful. And working with him. I mean, when you really want to get it right, you have to practice. And I encourage others. Practice, practice, practice. Because... That's when you know you are doing good and you are inclined. You look at some of the artists now, you look at the bass player, Stanley Clark. He went to college, he got some training, and he just perfected it and he just took it to another level. So um, I went to see him in concert in Detroit, Michigan, some time ago. I think it was 2000. 6 2007 only one song i wanted him to do you know you go see your artist that you like <laughs> and there's one song that you might like so much that they don't do in this really the artist it hurts you to your soul that they didn't do that song and you paid all that money so i wanted him to do hideaway from um the hideaway album a self-titled song but he didn't do it maybe other people wanted him to do it as well but if any artist is looking at this, um, I just want to encourage you to give the fans what they want. Um, um, another cat that's real good, that's um, want to be black so bad. <laughs> He's um, came here to, to the Jacks is uh, Brian Culberson. Um, he is he is brother. He is a brother. He just he just got a different shade of color, but he is he's just he's a human. But he's funny. Go check him out. He's on tour now in North America. See him now. 
Uh, his music is uplifting, uh, very um, passionate. He's a very passionate uh, artist. Um, I'm looking to work with him in the future. Um, I have something for him to write. I wrote something for him. Um, but um, him and his band, a very nice guy, very funny guy. Um, <laughs> you just had to, um, his music puts you in a whole different, different era, different realm. Like, um, if you're having a bad day, uh, I encourage you to get uh, another night out, another night out. Um, that's one of, from one of his CDs where he run shades like me, but it's dark shades and, um, he's standing up. Brian Culberson is one of our best, um, jazz musicians. I'm not hoping that he get a Grammy, but um, maybe he did have some. But um, go check him out. And um, also um, Will Downing, he's in Kalamazoo. He had a show last night, was just awesome. Well, I work with some jazz artists. Um, I'm looking for opera singer, uh, jazz, um, R&B singer. I'm looking for a Christian woman gospel singer. And I'm looking for a trumpet and a trombone player. Um, I wrote a song now that um, it's a Christian song that I need a woman that can sing good. And um, no drama. Just have some fun and take it to the next step locally here. Um, it was a woman that came at a cigar shop downtown. I met um, Alex. She's at work now, but um, she's good. But um, sometimes, like like I said, sometimes our egos get in the way. But I hope that um, she doesn't want to take it seriously. But I just tell you that um, if you want to take it seriously, you got to follow through. You got to keep doing it. You got to keep doing it and just keep doing it. And if it's your dream, if it's your goal to be a star, to be in the limelight, it will, it will come to fruition. It will happen. Um, put God first and trust in God that it will happen because I'm doing the same thing here. Um, sometimes I don't want to do it, but sometimes I don't do it. And sometimes we can be our own worst enemy. You know how that is. Oh, I don't feel like doing it today. But you know, you got to go to work. So I'm getting up out here and I'm going to be homeless. So we all just a paycheck for being homeless. We don't pay our bills. But just expect going to happen. You're going to get that eviction notice in the mail. I just want to thank YouTube. And I just hope that um, someone was blessed by this. And... Once again, um, you can send your demos to Star Project Music LLC, $50 check of money order. And you're probably wondering why I'm asking for the $50 check of money order. And this is covered costs. It covers my time to listen to your music. Um, and if I do like you um, and the people that I know, we um, I make some referrals. Um, the, the tweaking is for new artists as well. Um, this new tech house technical music electronic music is is going to the next level it's it's pulsing it's how can i tell you it's uplifting you having a bad day at work you come home you just throw on some dapper deep i recommend anybody to listen to him it's just if you want to get your exercise on and you can't afford a gym membership Listen to DAPA, D-A-P-A, D-E-E-P, DAPA Deep. Um, just some of his, uh, um, i never seen a, a artist, um, DJ, produce his own music and then just stand up there. He don't even, he's not even <laughs> scratching. He's producing his stuff on the piano and keyboard and he's just getting it. I mean, he's just doing it, and um, it's just different. So it's productive. Some people may think it's homophobic or it's call it what you want, but to me, it's it's fun. It's something to do. I work out to it. It's it's just really encouraging. Um, 
what he is doing. Keep it up, Dapper. Um, I'm looking to invest into some of your projects um, soon, as soon as I get the um, <laughs> some more money to do it. But um, I just encourage people to um, just start Project Music LLC as a small little company. I have a sad job, though. And um, if you don't do it, you don't try. So this is one of my pet little peeves. So I was homeless here in the Jackson. And now I have a better place. So I got to go back to school in January and finish my degree in psychology, human services. Um, I care about folks. I try to get help people with work, but some people don't want to work. They want to work when they want to. So it's all about me now. And I don't mean to be selfish and conceited because you can tell if I would be on YouTube, I'm looking for artists to help. Because when you come with me, we as a family invest into your project, you best believe you're going to have some money in your, pro in your pocket. It might not be the money you want, but you're going to have some money. It's not going to be like $600,000, but you're going to have some money. I'm going to teach you the, the business. If you don't know it, um, hold you by the hand a little bit, and then I'm going to let you go. And then send you on your way to the big majors. And they'll groom you and work with you more. Um, there's some things I don't know. There's, music is changing each and every day. It's something new that's coming out. It's always something that's different. Uh, the beats is incredible. Um, it's just it's just exciting time. Even though we in the COVID times, um, it's still exciting time to be here on Earth in America. Even though we having trials and tribulations, um, look for the things that make you happy. You gotta make yourself happy. Don't look for people all the time to get your happiness. Make yourself happy. And today I'm happy. So remember that you have to do some therapeutic counseling on yourself, by yourself. Remember, you came in this world by yourself. You're going to leave by yourself. Well, my time is almost up. Um, I have a few American Standard CDs left for sale, and they're going for $30. And the reason why I charge $30 is because $10 from that thirty dollars for cover costs for shipping and handling, I encourage people from um, Jacksonville, Florida area to to um, buy the CD. I will send it to you in the mail. And if there's any flaws with the CD, you get your money back. But the ones I checked are okay. Um, it covers the shipping costs, and it's cover. I have get. I had to give part of my royalty from sales to Jeffrey Porter and to his last address. That the guy who played the trumpet player who played on this on the album. It's his it's his album. So I'm just the producer, the writer of it. So um I never worked with a person like this. It was it was beautiful. He was so unorthodox. He sits playing with his legs folded, sitting down. When we ha when I had him in the studio, so he was very good. You had to listen to it to hear it. Um, Donald Trump, former president of the United States of America, wrote me back. I sent it to him for his birthday in um, 2018, and I thought he probably wouldn't. <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to write back. I was just like, out of blue, I oh, the president. I, I know I'm on to something. Um, I just uh watched the Canadian National Anthem back in the 80s when I was in high school. And the Canadian um, National Anthem would come on after the American National Anthem. Um, I was always saying to myself, maybe one day I get on to, to write something like that. I don't know, but maybe. But um, I like Canada's National Anthem, so my grandma was from Canada. I don't know if Hannah's still alive, but um, she says she's there. So I send it to the Winnipeg Jets and uh, ask them to play it. I don't know if they played it at one of the hockey games, but I hope that they play it. Um, 
Willard, one of my favorite hockey hockey players from Winnipeg, Canada, the Winnipeg Jets. Oh, the owner, please play them. <laughs> um, it's a therapeutic therapeutic song. It's all instrumental. Um, if you want something different during this holiday season, get American Standard by Jeffrey Porter. It's trading now on YouTube.com. The hit song, American Standard World National Anthem, written by me, Damascus Romicelli. I'm on Studio Live on YouTube.com. This is my YouTube channel. And I'm Romicelli Damascus, CEO of Star Project Music LLC here in Jacksonville, Florida. Once again, I have American Standard for sale for $30. Send a check, a money order, cashier's check, bank cashier's check, or Western Union money order to Star Project Music LLC, 1601 North Main Street, Jacksonville, Florida. 1601 North Main Street, P.O. Box 3599, Jacksonville, Florida. The code 32206. I'm going to leave you with a poem today now. Do right is to be right. If you, we, the people follow through on what we do, come together with love and understanding, talk it out calmly, no hollering, firing guns, shooting and screaming. Today, now, smile to yourself. Life is rough. You okay. It could be worse. But we as Americans must remain strong, separate, but equal. I am happy today now in this moment. God bless and is dedicated to people around the world to as well today now stay strong stay happy in the turbulent times look for things that make you happy the little things the little thing like a how a tree looks or how an animal is so pretty or how a bird looks or how pretty a building is made to some people that's corny or But to me, it's not. Have outlets. Get out. Don't let this COVID-19 make you down in the press. Go see a movie. Go to a park. Go for a walk. Go jogging. Go see a concert. Go baseball game. Get out. Have fun. Remember, we only live once. We only only on this earth once. So we got to make the best out of our lives the best way we can. Now I encourage you, if you're down, get up. And don't give up. This has been Roman Sally Damascus for Star Project Music LLC. Remember, you are all you got. <laughs>